Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to announce the new swap for the month of August, which happens to be the best month of the year because it's Leo season and my birthday is the 12th. My son's birthday is the 11th. Kyla's birthday is on the 18th. So it's a house full of Leos. Anyway, um, sidebar. So I'm here to announce the new swap for the month of August. Also, before I do that, I wanted to tell you guys, It's a Link Party Volume 7. We are seven in of It's a Link Party. And I did not announce what the giveaway will be. There are participants already on there. They're like, I don't care what the prize. I just want to play. So you guys rock. You faithful people rock. I love seeing all of you guys comment supporting all of each other. Like, I'm so excited to see that. So you, all you have to do is create a three compartment box. I had a tutorial, super easy. There's still time on there because I was late when I posted it in the beginning of July. I believe it ends at the seventh of the month, um, but I'll have that link down in the description box if you guys wanna play. It's using your own stuff. You don't have to do anything but craft of things that you have at home. So check it out. Anyway, um, thank you guys for supporting each other. I love that. Um, let me show you what the recipient will win for It's a Link Party Volume Number 7. You'll get this uh, 50 sheet of Park Lane papery or paper. Really pretty shabby red pink colors, aqua. Really pretty paper. I bought two of those because I liked it that much. You get these jumbo uh, paper clips. You can alter these, do whatever you want. The stickability stickers. Um, by Paper Studio, very encouraging uh, words. Enjoy the moments that make you smile, live well, laugh often, love much. You'll get some altered paper clips from Flea Mark uh, clothespins from Flea Market Fancy, and this is the Paper Studio as well. You'll get this Maggie Holmes stamp set with four different stamps on there, or no, five, five different stamps. You'll also receive this um, note cards with envelope. It's a cute little deer, like a farmhouse. Really, really cute. You get eight note cards and envelopes. You can alter them or leave them as is. And finally, you'll get this memory dex die. Um, so that's what that looks like, the shape, just the standard memory dex die. So if you are the winner of uh, It's a Link Party number seven, it will be announced when the it's a link when it ends and I announce a new one. So anyway, check it out. Sign up for the newsletter, you guys, um, and participate and support each other. So the link for the party number seven will be in the description box. And now for the swap, as you guys know, the three stinking little tiny rules are you must have current crafty videos already uploaded on your YouTube channel. You must live in the United States or have a United States address, and you must not have been late or flaked in the previous swap. Super simple. That's it. So I currently have been binge watching binder mails and I absolutely love them. So I'll put some of my uh, favorites down in the description box to give you guys an idea of, I have to stop talking with my hands because you guys can see all this, which is so annoying. Um, uh, it'll give you guys an idea of what I was thinking of in regards to completing this swap. So it's a little bit more intensive I think labor intensive than um, another swap but I think you guys will love it and I think you'll you'll be excited um, to get a binder mail so basically it's just uh, a binder I get I got this binder from Target it was on clearance I don't know three some do some dollars like that this is um, give you the measurements because there will be measurements everything that I say will be listed on the website all spelled out so if I miss something which chances are I will it'll be there this is uh measures nine and a quarter to about seven this is how big this binder is so you can find these anywhere you can also get binders from the dollar tree uh if you want a bigger binder i think those like fit like eight and a half by 11 papers so anyway this is my binder so and it's a nice size for mailing so we're going to make our binder mail this to fit a, a smaller binder so anyway, this is what I created to hold all of mine. And this is the clean and simple look. I use the Splendor paper collection, uh, 12 by 12, uh, and the uh, 6 by 6. And I use some thickers to uh, kind of coordinate to make my swap. Um, sample today but that I'm going to keep so anyway I am planning on filling up just embellishments and little things on my book so when I need something on the go I have it I want to do different themes unicorn 
on uh, um, shabby just different things so I can just have them ready to go and just look at it. it looks pretty in my craft room so this is what I did it's a little shaker element up there and this is the back and it's a three ring binder so that's all you really need is three ring binder so um, let me show you the swap Oh my gosh, I hate the white balance on this camera, but it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, so cute. So really quickly, there will there will be groups of four, so you'll have to make it and send three. And um, I'm just gonna say the things, and I'll show you. You have groups of four, so you make and send three. You have to create a pocket. You have to create a page, and you have to include a goodie that is two dollars or less. You have to answer a about me questions you have to create two sets of four embellishments and one set of something of your choice um, and you also have to leave the side of your page um, a half inch so that the recipient can punch holes and put it in their own binder mail so that's just like the quick short notes of it so everything will be listed on the website so please click down there before you sign it up read it please <laughs> anyway so this is what mines look like. It is so stinking cute. So, um, the pot, let's, we'll start out with the pocket. So, creating the pocket, it could be a library pocket. You can make an envelope and have it go the opposite way. It just has to be shorter than this. This page has to be six by nine total. Total. Six by nine total. So, you, you have to include your half inch binding strip over here. So, you got five and a half by nine. But the total page needs to be complete six by nine so back to the pocket just needs to be smaller than that page so when the recipient gets it and they start loading their binding their binder mail it'll fit in here then you have little tabs for goodies also when your binder mail is empty and you emptied out all the goodies and you've used all the embellishments the recipient's able to reuse it if they want and pack it up and send it to someone else so this pocket is meant for a goodie a goodie pocket so I'm using a library pocket like I said you could do a coin envelope you can cut an envelope in half you can make an envelope and move it sideways and have it flip I don't care be creative in whatever you do so this is what I did to mine I have um, and everything obviously must be decorated I have used some um, stickers from the collection added on pop dots some trim really cute sentiment there and then um, after I did my created my library pocket before I matted my pages I folded over some 110 pound weight cardstock put an eyelet in it so that um, they could put it on the binder mail so I don't want you to punch the holes for this let them punch their own holes but for the pocket you can add one strip because they can put it anywhere on the binder but let the recipient do their own holes on the side but just make sure you leave that half inch sturdy binding for them to do so all right so in my um, pocket I have a cute little um, tag here it says bestie that's just a wine tag a wine charm but it's super cute I love this pocket this paper is gorgeous so that's my pocket and then I have examples of goodies so I have some a roll of flatback pearls that I've repackaged and I punched a little hole at the top just for decoration make it look cute as presentable as possible and then here's another idea of using charms let me just try to adjust the light so maybe that'll help using some charms I just put cardstock on the top to kind of hide the you know price and all that on there so really cute I love this pocket so you have to make a pocket decorate it up make it look cute and then for your page so I folded over vellum and um, to create my page so that I can have a pocket on the inside to fit my uh, other item that I need to fit in there but you guys can do however you want to do your layout but it just needs to be six by nine all right and this is what I did to mine so I have some trim of course I've, I've um, layered some 110 pound weight cardstock then I put some decorative paper on top and I punched my eyelets so that I can put it on my binder I have some pom-pom trim and I have leaf trim going all around the edges I have flat back pearls I added some um, uh, die cuts and stickers a sentiment and then I have some tool I layered the back I have some tool here with the vellum pocket and I use one of the Maggie Holmes um, papers be just because one is Maggie Holmes swap theme that I'm using 
but I thought that would look cute on there to kind of go in together. But my currently is on the back, so which is one of the requirements. So the currently questions are, what are you watching? I'm watching Better Call Saul on Netflix, which is a spinoff of Breaking Bad. I'm reading, and at this moment I've finished, I did this a couple days ago, but I'm reading An Anonymous Girl. And then I'm pinning, what are you pinning? What are you saving? What are your inspiration boards? What are you working on? I'm currently pinning wood projects because that's what my focus is because it's summer and I can do that outside right now. I can't do it in the fall or winter or spring here. So that's what I'm currently in. I'm currently crafting gift projects, gift ideas, teacher stuff. So that should be coming soon. And I'm enjoying family and love. And then I just put the date because August is an awesome month. So, and I just have washi, <clears throat> excuse me, washi tape on there. And I just have that fit. And it just looks super cute. So, like I said, I have a vellum. I folded over a piece of vellum. And inside, so my requirement. Um, so, one set of your choice. I chose to make um, some bag toppers. And these bag toppers are simple, but they are so cute. I just have it on some acetate. And that's all I did. Decorate some bag toppers. I have a gold strip, uh, some bowls, some pom-pom trim, and a sentiment on all of the bag toppers. And they are just attached with a little pop dot. Super cute. In this part, this extra part, you can make another set of four embellishments. You can uh, stamp some glassine bags. <clears throat> Look at some of the videos down below for some inspiration on the extra thing. It's your choice. Whatever you want to slip in your swap, you can make a pocket or you can find another way to attach it. But I just made a pocket. It was easier. Um, whatever you want to slip in there, that third item is your choice. But I have, um, you can do, um, like I said, glassine bags. You can add sh um, shakers, tassels, flowers, washi samples. It, it just a, it's just a bunch of items that you can add. But that surprise is your choice. Do whatever you like. I just chose to make some bag toppers, and they are super cute. And then my four my two sets of four embellishments are I made some really cute gold bowls they are on a little dimensional here let me see well there we go and I just layered two bowls together or two I cut the bowl out twice and I cut off the edge of one so that it would have that gold pop I hope you guys can see that it's just super cute anyway so that's my set of four I have um, some twine in there, flat back pearl, and then I made a set of four dimensional flowers. These flowers are layered three dimensions each with pop dots in between and a flat back pearl on the outside to top it off. So super cute. Really, really fun. Really fun to complete. So uh, all of the information will be down below, but there will be three themes. So please, when you put your name down there, Say what theme you want. And the themes are, um, I got to check my notebook. Uh, they are clean and simple, um, shabby chic, and unicorn or mystical. So that could be unicorn, mermaid, fairies, what have you. I think that would be a pretty binder mail um, as well, as well as clean and simple, as well as shabby. So all of my, all things that I think a lot of people can fit into those categories. So um, all of the information, again, will be via link in the description box below, but basically you're going to um, create one six by nine pocket or sturdy or whatever it is. This has to be sturdy. You have to be able to put two sets of four embellishments and one set of whatever you want to create. That's your choice. You can just so many options that you could do. I chose to make another set of, of bag toppers. Um, you also have to complete your currently ask the questions. I'll have the questions listed on the website. This pocket needs to be decorated. There needs to be a binding strip so the recipient can punch it and you need to create a smaller pocket, smaller than your binder, um, mail swap. And in that pocket, you must include a $2 goodie and decorate it all. Everything must be sturdy. Please layer your, layer your, um, lower weight paper or use 110 pound weight paper or pattern paper and cardstock combo but just make sure it's sturdy it's going in binder mail so when it's all said and done this will i'm just going to put this back in here without the plastic protection right now and then i'll put it in there later but when it's all said and done and the recipient gets their binder mail they can start their collection and create a little binder for themselves and how cute is that 
So this is my design or my themes, clean and simple for this one. And then I could just flip through and see what it is that, you know, I want to play with. So I think that's a cute idea. Anyway, I hope you guys check it out and uh, let me know down below. Don't forget to leave your theme. All right. Bye.